On the day the first jab went into the arm of a nurse in Queens, New York, two years ago, 300,000 people had already died from COVID. As the campaign to get everyone vaccinated very slowly rolled out, on December 14th, 2021, the number grew to 800,000 COVID victims. Now, as vaccines have grown, the death toll is plummeting, but COVID is still a concern, as is the desire for updated vaccinations. I remember seeing those first graphs that showed how great the protection was against severe illness from the mRNA vaccines, and it was just unheard of. A rapidly developed shot at beating a previously little known virus, SARS-CoV-2. I have to admit, I was somewhat of a pessimist. I didn't think that the timeline would quite be as rapid as it was, but this was just unheard of for vaccines to be come together and to work so well so quickly. A worldwide threat turned into a global collaboration, but as variants of the original virus emerged, vaccine updates appear to always be a step behind. Part of the drag on scientific progress is due to people moving on with their lives. We were able to run trials and do everything kind of in a vacuum almost because we were masking and taking away other infections like influenza. So it was easier to really target that one infection. This year, COVID, flu and RSV are sending people to the hospital in droves. Now we're back to seeing lots of different types of infections and there are many different vaccine candidates on the market. So it's going to take a little bit longer for each one to come about. But I think that what we've learned some lessons on how to get things done efficiently. The most efficient vaccine in the works, a combo flu COVID shot and perhaps protection that doesn't include a shot at all, but instead uses a nasal spray to keep COVID at bay. While there are some advances in other countries and some that are coming closer to coming out in other countries, the trials in the United States and Europe so far are not to the stage that we're going to see a nose spray anytime soon, but they are working on it. And health experts are still working to get people on board with protection. So if you're not going to do it for the other people around you, do it at least for yourself because no one wants to get severely ill. And it's much better to have a reaction to a vaccine, meaning that your immune system is doing what it's supposed to be. It's being trained on how to respond to that pathogen than to actually get severely ill from that. None of the vaccines has the ability to prevent infection entirely or stop the spread of COVID to others. But studies show time and again, the vaccine does prevent more serious COVID illness. Back to you.